This illustration is a discussion about de excitation of a hydrogen like atom. Here we are given that a hydrogen like atom of atomic number Z is in an excited state of quantum number 2N, and if it makes a transition to quantum state N, it emits a photon of energy 40.8 electron volt. And it can also emit a photon of maximum energy 204 electron volts. And we are required to find the minimum energy that can be emitted by this atom and the value of n and z. Here we can start with the given information that we are given that for the transition from 2n to n. The energy emitted is delta E1, which is given as 40.8 electron volt. That can be given as we can use the expression for excitation or de excitation energy, which is written as 13.6 Z square 1 by N1 square minus 1 by N2 square. So this is 1 by N square minus 1 by 2N whole square. This is the excitation energy. Which is released when it de excites from 2n to n. Say so this is our first equation. And we are also given that for the maximum energy which is emitted that will be possible when it de excites from directly 2n to n equals to 1, that is ground state. The maximum energy which is released in the transition is given as delta E2. Which is 204 electron volt, which can be written as 13.6 Z square multiplied by 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 n whole square. So, this is our equation 2. Here, if we divide the two equations, then 2 by 1 implies this 204 divided by 40.8 is equals to, if we take the ratio of these two, this will give us uh, here you can see this 4 uh, when we substitute uh, take this 4 n square as LCM this gives us uh, 2 n minus 1. So, this will be 4 minus 1 and we can write it here as uh, 4 n square minus 1 divided by this value is 4 minus 1. So, this will be 3 and we take the ratio of these two. This gives us a value, this is 15 is equals to, this is 4 n square minus 1. And on further simplifying, this gives us 4 n square is equals to 16, or which results uh, n square is 4, or the value of n is equals to 2. This is one result of the problem for the value of n we are required to calculate. Once we get the value of n, from equation 2, here we can directly use 204 is equals to 13.6 Z square multiplied by this 1 minus 1 by 4 square is 1 by 16. So, on simplifying this, we are getting the value of Z square is equals to 204 multiplied by 16 divided by 13.6 multiplied by 15, which is equals to 16 only. This implies the value of z we are getting 4. That is another result of the problem, the value of z we are required to find. Now, in this situation, as we have got the value of n and z, we can calculate the minimum energy release and we can write. Uh, Minimum energy will be emitted when transition is from n equals to 4 to n equals to 3 because as n is 2, then initially it was in 2n. So, the initial orbit uh, is at n equals to 4. So, minimum energy is for the adjoining orbits. So, when electron transits from uh, n equals to 4 to 3 energy emitted as minimum and we can write the value of minimum energy emitted is equal to 13.6 multiplied by z we are having 4. So, this 4 square 
multiplied by this 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square. Simplifying this giving us 13.6 multiplied by 16 multiplied by 7 upon 9 multiplied by 16. So, your 16 gets cancelled out and simplifying this giving us 10.58 electron volt that is the result of this problem.